Hey guys, Mike with Fish Addictions here. And every good day on the water can end abruptly. And now we just got back in, cleaning the boat up, went down to grab some stuff, and lo and behold, we got this uh, number seven flicker shad <laughs> in my finger. This was not staged. But we figured we'd take the opportunity to teach you guys a very useful technique when we're out fishing. I mean, guys that are using shad wraps, all this kind of stuff, this is a real everyday thing yeah, that can happen. Yeah, I, usually so, once a year for me. Yeah, well, we're gonna walk you guys through how to take these out safely and effectively. You know, we don't wanna just yank on this, the barbs in there. It's gotta come out a certain way. For one, it's not as painful. No. It's scary, because it I'm is. scared right now. <laughs> but it's the right thing to do. It's well, the right technique to do it. So here we go. First, we're gonna take this hook and take it off the bait. We don't wanna be pulling this hook, you know, with another hook right here, because all we're gonna do is hook ourselves mm -hmm. again. Well, the first thing we wanna do is just detach the hook from the bait. The last thing we wanna do is try pulling this hook out with the other hook on the shad wrap still in there because what you bet you're more than likely going to do is hook yourself <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to have to do it all over again. So basically, we're going to take this hook off the split ring here. However you see comfortable. This is not comfortable. There we go. So now we've detached the hook from the flicker shad. And we're going to put this as far away as possible. We're going to throw it over there. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, basically what you're going to want to do is, is remove it the same way it came or went in, um, basically straight out, um, just so the barb kind of, it's real quick jerking motion. You're going to want to get some braid, some really tough line, um, and then basically loop it around the backside of the hook the way it came in. I'm going to have to have Mike hold down on this hook so it comes out, Ooh. and it's painful. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, basically at this point, it's all up to the guy pulling the hook. What we're trying to do now is, is dislodge the hook the same way it went in. And if it's done correctly, it's not gonna be that painful. It is normal to be nervous because I'm nervous right now. But it's the only way to get a hook out without going to the yard. Really. Exactly, yeah. I mean, some, some times you can uh, cut it and try to poke it back around through, but it's not all the way back through. So this is the safest method. So what you're gonna do is pull Basically, you're gonna pull so the hook kind of rotates itself back out like that, right? Yep, kind of exactly. Turns itself. Yep. So we want to push down on one side. Not very hard, so I can pull it out. Right. Just, just kind of hold it there. Hold it. So when he pulls, we want to have enough force where our finger's not gonna go with it. We exactly. Want to keep yep. it where it's at. And you want to get that finger out of the way and just make sure we don't get any more, you know, hooks and other fingers <laughs> right so we're gonna hold it down here at the tip keep it down yeah same way it went in make sure you don't push too hard there on there just kind of hold it right down where it is so i'm gonna count to three and then we're gonna do her so done Just like that <laughs> guys this is an everyday thing that happens out in the boat on the ice and we took the time to effectively show you there's a little blood there, but it's like getting a shot when you go to the doctor. Done effectively, done right, it's really a painless thing. It really is, yeah. I mean, the, the, the painful part would be getting a, the crank off the hook is, you know, moving it around. Guys, that's just another tip. This is everyday stuff that happens on the water. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm glad it's out of my finger. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See ya.